Wicket Keeper is here to see you, sir. Thank you. Send him in, please. Yes, good. Come in, Butterling. Sir. Now, when you joined this zoo just three weeks ago, Butterling, it was the second largest zoo in the whole of Europe. <laughs> We had over 6,000 animals. All we have left are two hyenas, a rhinoceros, and a ferret with a wooden leg. Where are the others? I don't know, sir. They're in the main street, Butterling, the main street. All except for the water buffalo. Where's the water buffalo, sir? In my bathroom. <laughs> my wife found it there early this morning, Butterley. She's a nervous woman. The police caught her just 40 minutes ago. <laughs> she was over a hundred miles away, still running. <laughs> she doesn't remember anything, and she thinks she's a potato. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> That's all right. I didn't like her anyway. <laughs> but the town, Butterling, it looks like a national game reserve. I mean, Butterling, how does anyone lose giraffes? People take them, sir. <laughs> You're lying, Butterling. You're lying. I know all about your little agreement with the sausage factory. And the aviary, Butterling, my little pride and joy, the aviary. What have you done to it? I put all the birds in one cage, sir. Well? <coughs> the vulture's looking very well, sir. I'm dismissing you as from tomorrow, Butterling. One of the baboons can take over for the time being. Now, for the rest of the day, one, get the ferret out of the elephant's cage. Doesn't fool anyone. <laughs> Second, Butterling, can you impersonate animals? Yes, sir. Well? Cluck, cluck, sir. <laughs> what was that, Butterling? A chicken, sir. <laughs> Bow wow, sir. No, no, don't tell me, Butterling. Let me guess that one. <laughs> that was a dog. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Moo. This is a zoo, Butterling, not a farm. <laughs> Get out. Go and feed the animals. The animal. <laughs> Oh, and Butterling, if there's a potato waiting outside, tell her I love her. 